Hello, Tegan from Simply for Strings. We're going to fit our shoulder rest to our violin or viola. The reason we have a shoulder rest is that when you are playing, your shoulder rest will be sitting here on the bottom of your instrument. If you don't have one, you can see that the instrument just wants to fall down, whereas we want to be able to have that support under there to make sure that the instrument stays parallel to the floor. So when you look at your shoulder rest, Chances are you will have a fat side and a thin side if you have a model similar to this one. This is the Fom Kun, by the way, the Fom Kun shoulder rest. So I like to think, especially for teaching children, fat chin, because you want to put the fat side of the shoulder rest on the same side of the instrument as the chin rest. So popping the fat side onto the back, hooking the feet onto the back of the instrument and then hooking the second feet and sliding that up and you will feel it becomes tight. Now there I've done it a little bit wonkily so I'm just going to fix that up a little bit. So pulling this side down, pulling that side up and you want them to be about even on both sides. So you can see that's pretty good. You can see that it sort of makes a, a circle shape that helps students in particular, they know what shape they're looking for. So that's all you really have to do. Then to double check it's on correctly, you want to make sure that the feet are flush so that they're really clamped onto the instrument. And then if we pop our instrument up, I can hold it with no hands. If we give a little turn, you can see that the shoulder rest is fitting to my shoulder down into my chest. So that is the perfect shoulder rest for me. So that's all you have to do.